Hey everybody, it's Claire, and I look like a crazy cat lady because Monkey, this little baby right here, just got her this this month, decided she wants to be a pirate cat and sit on my shoulder for July favorites, I guess. Let's see if I can move. Oh! Okay. Um, so, uh, July has been pretty eventful. Uh, I passed my NCLEX, which is, if you don't know, the registered nurse, um, like, state boards. Ow, you're chewing my hair. Stop playing with my hair. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Jump. Jump. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, I passed the NCLEX, which is the state board examination for registered nurses. Um, I got the new kitty that you saw, Monkey. She's so cute. Um, and yeah, that's probably all I really did this July. Um, but let's just get started on my favorites. So the first um, favorite is for my face and it is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup with SPF 20. It looks like this. I'm in the color 40 Nude. And this is just a great product. Um, it's super lightweight. It blends really easily. It matches my skin tone perfectly. It gives you that like dewy, healthy skin look. Um, if you have dry skin, I would definitely give it a try. I would say if you have oily Eh, I wouldn't go for it just because it does give you that dewy look and I know if you're oily skin it's just going to be a hot mess. So um, my dry skin ladies, woo -woo, uh, this is definitely something to check out. And it was only like $12 maybe which is a little expensive but so far you just need a little bit and it's lasted me a long time. And my favorite brush to apply that with is the Sigma um, Flat Top S Synthetic Kabuki, the F80. It looks like this. Um, it's really dense. It's super easy. You just pack on your color, swirl it around, yada, 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 and you're good to go. Um, so this is definitely the brush that I've been loving. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description box um, where you can buy these. And there's a coupon code for July, so check that out as well. And I think you get like 10% off, so that's really cool. And I have two other brushes to show you guys. Um, another one by Sigma, it's the Large Angled Contour. And it looks like this. Um, it's a little dirty, as you can kind of tell, but this is really nice. I like using it for blush or for contour. It's just really easy to just pop right on the cheeks or contour in your um, underneath your cheekbones in the hollow. So, ah, that was my toe. Did you just hear that? That really hurt. Um, I hate cracking knuckles and toes and ugh. Anyways, um, so this has been great. Um, yeah. And then the last brush that I've been loving is the Sigma, Sigma Small Contour F05. And I just use this for, you know, contouring your cheekbones. Um, right in the hollow. Fits, like, right in there. <laughs> Suck it in. Um, super easy. I think these are only like nine dollars maybe, so check that out. I'll have them all linked down below in the description box. And the next thing I have, um, for my face, well, okay, it's lips, so, I don't know, lips are on my face. Um, it's a rediscovered love. I've had it before. I bought it when, like, it was the craze on YouTube. Everyone and their mom talked about it. Um, the EOS Lip Balms. And these are so cute. Look at these things. They're just like little bitty eggs. Can I balance this? Is this like gonna happen? Yeah, it did. And this one's in lemon. And it smells delicious. So good. It smells like legit fresh squeezed lemonade. Not the like fake lemon juice kind, but like the actual real lemon squeezed one that you get at like State Fair. Holla for Wisconsin State Fair, even though I don't live there anymore. That was amazing. Um, anyways, this has SPF 20, and it's super easy to throw in your purse, take it to the beach, whatever. It's not too, it's not greasy, it's not watery, it's not sticky. It's like the perfect consistency, and I love it. Um, next thing is, okay, so I went to Ulta, and I think I did this in my haul, so you can check that out. I'll link it below. I got the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and I got the travel size, which looks like this, and um, this was only $4, because I could not justify spending $33 on the big jar of it. So I got this $4 one, and this is a travel size one. This lasted me two uses. I could possibly get three out of it, but I did two. Um, 
it does work well. Um, it definitely gave my hair more hydration, but the only thing that I'm, like, torn between is it didn't last very long. Like, the smooth silkiness lasted maybe two days, and that was, like, it. So I don't know if I'm going to repurchase the full-size one, because I don't know if I can justify $33 for a big jar if, like, one-time use only lasts me, like, two days. So I think I might try the Organics one that are only, like, $7.99. $7.99 because I can justify spending that much and wasting it if it doesn't work or whatever. But yeah, I've been liking it. It's been pretty good. Pretty good to me. Um, and then I have um, nail polishes. I have two nail polishes for July. Um, first one I'm not even going to explain about because everybody and their mom, literally, their mom has been talking about this. It's the Essie Bikini Sotini. Everybody loves it. Woo! Oh my god, rave! Yeah, it's great. Whatever. Um, so that's that color. And then the ones that I have on my fingernails right now, this one. Don't these fingernails look like, um, jack-o'-lantern? Like, it should be Halloween, and we should all carve pumpkins and put candles in them, and it's just gonna be one big Halloween jack-o'-lantern fest. Let's do it. Um, but this one is the Revlon... Uh, what color are you? 902 Craving Coral. I don't get why they named it that. I don't know. It doesn't look like a coral color to me. It looks orange. Like, why don't you name it, like, Orange Fizz or Orange Soda Pop or something? I don't know. This color to me looks orange. It definitely looks more color coral, coral, coral in the package than it does on your fingers. But it's been a really nice color, and that's what I have right there. So that's kind of all for my beauty favorites. I haven't been spending money yet because I've been trying to like uh, get my license switched and I've been having a hassle with it. But um, the next favorite is actually a planner. It looks like this. It's super cute. It's small. fits right in your purse. I got it at Target and it's just like a month one that like shows you the months. And it goes all the way to like 2014 which is ridiculous but it's kind of cool. And I just got the, like, monthly one because I'm not in college anymore, so I don't need, like, the day-to-day -day, what's my homework kind of planner. So I just got, like, one for if I work or, like, let's go out to dinner kind of planner thing. So I've been loving this, and I'm pretty sure it was only, like, $3, and it gives you, like, two years. So, good investment. And the last um, favorite item, well, it's okay, it's not even a favorite, it's just like what I've been reading right now. And I just started it last night, and I read the first one, I read, um, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and it was really good. Um, kind of slow in the beginning, so stick it out, but it is good in the end. And the movie doesn't exactly follow it, which I hate, 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 hate when movies do not follow the books. Directors, make your movies follow the book. Thank you. Um, like Harry Potter. Um, so this one is the second one in the, I think it's a trilogy. Um, this is the girl who played with fire, and I'm not very far as you can kind of tell, but so far it's been really good. So hopefully it'll be like my book favorite. But I heard the last one was the best one, so that's like the main reason why I'm trying to finish these. Um, but yeah, and my kitty is obviously my favorite because I love her so much. Little baby monkey. Um, but that's all for my favorites, so if you, like, have any fun favorites that you want me to try or your favorites, link it down below in the comment, or link it. <laughs> okay, well you can link your video response, but write me down a comment in the description box. Oh yeah, my shirt has been my favorite. Um, I've had it for a while. It's got this cute little hood too in the back. Should I put it up for you guys? Let's do it. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a pretty floppy uh, hoodie, but it's pretty cute. But um, don't forget to comment down below. Um, I'll leave all the descriptions or what? All the um, names of products in the description box. Um, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned for all the new videos that I put out. And there's a giveaway sometime in the future. Don't hold me to, like, soon, but at some point. So you better please subscribe for that. 
and um thanks for watching i guess that's all all right talk to you guys later bye